There is this YouTuber making a bunch of haunted or ghost videos. But here's the thing. Ghosts technically aren't real. I used to believe in ghosts, mainly because I was afraid of the dark. Now, however, I don't give a rat's bum about the dark. So with that, I've just stopped assuming every freaking sound I hear is something supernatural. Oh my gosh TV makes a living faking videos. Like most other ghost caught YouTubers. But okay, he's legit. Nah fam, he's not. <laughs> For example, look at everything that is supposedly a ghost that is opening and closing things. A lid behind a window is opened and slammed. Just ask if a ghost would have done it. But if you look closely, right after this happens, there is a cut. Sure, it is another camera, but you can't really see him in the window either. Perhaps he's sleeping on the other side of the vehicle. But still, a cut means something happened between those two cuts. It's very hard to debunk, discluding just knowing it's fake. <laughs> Do you really think that's real? Well, in this other video, they found a bunch of handwritten cards, if you will, and they're supposed to flip them and read randomly, as if it would give them ghostly answers of some sort. But they're trying so hard to even get out anything. They pick up slow, then eat, and then another card they use discard. Then randomly finds boy written on one of the cards. And then you say, slow eat boy. As if that is supposedly a ghost reply. Okay, what should we ask? Why is this house haunted? Uh, oh, that'd be cool. Imagine like the token. Uh, I'm just gonna pick a random one. Uh, about that one. Slow? Slow. I'm just gonna close my eyes and grab a random one. Eat. Eat? Eat what? Cute. <laughs> Alright, maybe this isn't working. Car? I don't think this is working, bro. Slow. Glass. Brother. Boy. Boy. Slowly eat a boy. Man, that says man. Maybe somebody ate a boy or a man in here. Come on guys, why even keep this in it? I mean, kids would believe it I guess. Later on in this video, they find some men doing a ritual. But the thing is, they're way too noisy for this to be real. They use lights, which would have been seen way too easily. It just reeks of scam or fake, whichever you prefer. It's just, it's just too good to be true. And it's too obvious that it's fake.
And then in this other clip, where Bibles fall over, he cuts out the video right after he sees the book falling. Again, kind of fishy. And most likely because it was faked. They are there to make content, so they make it for themselves. You decide. Yeah. That's what fell? Yeah, that fell. I'm 6'3". Oh, one of the Bibles got... Oh my gosh! Something is mad that we're here and it's trying to get our attention. That is the second, maybe the third time I've seen a Bible thrown around in here. Do you believe in ghosts? And do you think this is real? Comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.